All right, you guys, taking a look at a 90,000 BTU furnace. Uh, we can easily get into an 80. And then looking at replacing uh, the coil and then the return, or excuse me, the supply. Um, I would love to be able to flare this out a little bit, but I just don't see us having room to do so. And then return. Uh, I think we're gonna start right here at our connection and then offset over a little bit to allow for a five inch filter to slide right in here. So that's the other thing. With being right here, we should be able to slide our filter just right out right through there. We're looking at scooting back just a little bit too. Um, obviously keeping in mind that we only have about um, about seven inches before we're on top of our drain. So we should be good there. We're gonna gain two here. We're gonna gain four here. So that puts us at six. So we're gonna be right on top of it. We're gonna real close to it, but that's gonna be our offset over for that. And then, uh, again, like I said, 180, turn those around. Um, gas piping. I think we could probably just come right in between the two. Electrical the same way. And then flue piping, they got B vent here and it's not needed. Just, you know, we can just go single wall, a five to four reducer and come right through there as well. And then line set, uh, just do a cut and flush. Breaker panel, uh, again, do a 40 amp. Oh, I think it's 40 amp for that one. Maybe this 30. So we'll see what we need for that. I think we did the water heater. Uh, homeowner said he'd have you know, the washer out of the way, dryer too if needed, but I think if the washer's out of the way and then we just cover this, we'll be in good shape. And then just come right through the garage, right through here, pretty straightforward. 